a poor person, no matter what, would I go cook some food, Rasta? Me remember time when we are youth and mother gone away, we have a holiday like some holiday, so no, we are the yard. Me and my friend, them just get a, a butter pan and we just go buy some flour, have some hockey, banana, you know, yam and all them things there. Our color low, which is cheap. And we just run up where we call run a boat. And all of we are eat that. No, how much youth out there with the power holiday right now would I think for them and them brethren set up a pot and go cook? Most youth nah do that. Whether I come from uptown or downtown. Most youth in a Jamaica now nah run a boat with them brethren. Now nah go set up a pot and say, boy, how much money you have? Say, boy, you want to me have, you know, me have a, a, a nanny or so, you know, and how much you have? Me say, boy, right now, a $100 me have, you know, and you have $100. Me say, all right, me could go down to the supermarket and go buy some kalalo and pop chow and cabbage and, you know, a bag of rice or something. And me could go run a boat. So we used to call it run boat. Make up and run the boat. Most you nah do that because you want know. You see that five hundred dollar there? Can go down a one of them fast food American franchise fast food place. So all you hear them say, I make go down a KFC, you know? Yeah man, make the whole go down a KFC. I make go down a this and that and them go down there and them just eat whatsoever that franchise after offer and because nobody is dying sitting in these fast food restaurants nobody's thinking that what they are eating will eventually create a problem in the metabolism and the biological makeup so we go to school me remember when we used to go to school you have a thing in bolo slush. Me don't know how much people out there understand what we are talking about. But me know say how far people out there know about bolo slush. And we used to eat some food. And sometimes we never even want to eat them food. We prefer go home where mother would have make some lunch. And you bring the lunch at school. You carry your lunch in a school. Your mother cook lunch and give you for come at school with. Everybody have them little lunch pan with a nice little sandwich. Or them have a little lunch with them call them little thing where you used to put it, where you drop it pan the grog chip. <laughs> with your lunch. So if you know why I eat the school lunch, your mother give you lunch with carry at school. As some me bring up my pity them. Make them carry them lunch go to school. Nowadays the society set it. The society set it. That first of all, your mother can't prepare no lunch. One. Because your mother have to go up on the road early morning for go hustle. And if she's middle class, she have to get up for go further career. She have to go to the office. So she just chump up a little thing in the house. Like a, a fried egg and pizza, something whatsoever during the week. She just chomp up that, give her break because you have to run go to school too. So she have to run go to work. Cause so the system set it. The system set it where them attack the family first. Them separate that food vibes in the house where the family used to sit on round table and eat them food. We don't sit around the table and eat food again. We sit around the live vision. But the sofa where we offer. <laughs> so, they attack the mother and they attack the father. If the father did it, the father have to get up early and go to work. The father have to drive the people to go to school. So there's no lunch pan at go to school. Because all them can do now is get a hundred dollars. I saw the system set it up. The system set it up that Mumma can't set up the food again. Pupa 
Just give you hundred dollar and that's your lunch money. I give you five hundred dollar and that's your lunch money. So what uh, when you reach a school now? When you reach a school outside of the road, I go serve as your lunch time place. Or or if you have the time, you keep the lunch money. Because you know say on weekend. You can't go on one of the fast food, American fast food franchise. You see up your lunch money. So guess what now? It's either you're going to buy a little dry up thing at the, at the school gate. Some little luminous something. Some chips. Some, some something. And a soda. And you got man at the class. <laughs> and you gotta learn now, you know. Yeah, you gotta learn with them things there. Eh? The sugar. Hyperactivity. It has been proven scientifically that one of the reasons for the hyperactivity of students who cannot control their hyperactivity but use that hyperactivity to take it out violently on their peers. It has been proven that one of the main cause of this hyperactivity and the need to be violent comes from too much sugar in these children. Not Muta Baroka said. This is where big people say. We, we, we prove it. We do them test on how much children in a certain schools and all them things. They're all over the world. No. Imagine a youth now, I go eat this dry food and go back to the classroom with all this sugar. And now, him really, I keep the money where my father give him for lunch money, for the weekend, because that time you can't get for go out now. So, mother go reach home later at the night, you know. Mother reach home and father reach home late so them tired then can't bother go cook and if you live in a, a certain area the mother we cook but guess what the food where the mother cook sometimes because of financial restraint Sometimes worse than the fast food because the makeup of the food that you're that the the, the 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 person who cannot afford it is making that food they uh, create an imbalance in the child the whole heap of white flour them dumpling there when when them bind you up you know when them bind you up tile it come like Foreign, <laughs> like you know, the visa for go to that place there, eh? so you can't go. When the white floor they bind you up, you know. I mean, I mean, a man can't say, say, I'm gonna pay some posters for the wall, and if you use white floor for make the starch for pay up the thing, and when you look at the when, when you look at the poster, and you try to tear out the poster, I will put the poster left for the for the light poster, you know. <laughs> so. You, you, you might have cooked white flour. Then, in the morning, she might jump to a little white bread with her egg. So you have protein with carbohydrate. You go sit down in the classroom the whole day. No movement. But your brains. You go, they're going to have some dry food. And then on the weekend now, she said you're going to Devon House or she gonna, you gonna some KFC go sit down for go meet your boyfriend or your girlfriend. And yam the franchise, American franchise food. Where the real food eh? Can the real food please expose itself, Rasta? Then if everybody can show you, if scientists, not Rasta, not Muta, but scientists, can show you the effects of these different food. If you got doctor 
and doctor will show you the effects of eating this food. That is like a man who smoke a cigarette and see the cigarette box and smoke him kill and still go smoke it. It's either he's a dumb idiot or he just can't read. If a man make a product and say smoke him kill and then you go, go buy the something. He's a dumb ass. So the youth them I eat all of these crazy foods. And then when the mother Sunday evening Sunday evening when Muma supposed to be there yard and cook the Muma said she'll carry out the picnic me could go to one of these franchise places and buy these box things and carry it home go share it up them carry it home go share it up the little picnic them dress up a little picnic them in a some little cute text and false finger nail a whole heap of bubbles in a them ear and them have on the same dress them like where the gal them are dressed the hot gal them are dressed in a and them when them are walk down the road and them hear little music five scarter and them, them cock out and kin out and all these things and them are sing the same tune when them hear from the Radio and pan the, 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 the session we are keep next door them and all them things and the food does a gulp down so and and the mother in you know, the same vibration food is one of the most important if not the most important aspect of the human condition and if you if your food not right your mind now go right because it's not hunger your body your food are feed your body is containing different aspects of you and when you take in this food you know them saying that what you're taking is what you let out well what you're taking make what you let out it, it have a direct relationship with what you let out garbage in garbage out unless you can go use it as compost all right now you know why you some of them people yeah, things as compost because it's poison poison in poison out and the people them who are responsible for your life a act nonchalant about it like say you know what i mean yeah you know there was a time when you go in at these agricultural place and you see jamaican seeds nowadays you plant a seed where a jamaican seed you have to make sure say so you save the seed to plant it back because if you go get new seed when you go at the agricultural place eh, you now get the jamaican seed them have this shelf with all these genetically modified seed where they might bring in the country that the farmer them know because they might show you say when you plant the seed yeah, the yield bigger everybody want that not knowing say there's a long-term effect on the line as the man said on the thing a while ago it's not only the earth it affect but when it grow to fruitation it affect the human condition and that is what them doing that is why sunday dinner is obsolete in certain quarters in jamaica you don't have sunday dinner again in a whole heap of places i have to just give you give it give pick the 500 dollar make them go out there with them friend but them go buy ice cream and some cone and some candy bar and some what a wicked thing what a wicked wicked thing i go on rasta what a wicked thing i go on you just get a pick a, a 500 and say you know i go to live house you know i go go down half a tree uh, you know you, you, you go find somewhere for go you don't even want to pick the seat of the house again because you want to go somewhere too so you know, I forget you that the people you give them five hundred dollars a ton and say, go and go do buy what you want, buy man. Me can't buy that cook tonight, you know, because I have to go out. 
Renaissance I play this song. Renaissance I play this song. I have to go out and Nick Grill. Ah, uh, yeah. Woy, 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 woy. What a terrible thing. Oh, we can see. Say. You know, say, if you never have no precedent set, then you could have said, well, right now, it's a belief system. So, Muta Baruka work off a belief, you know, and belief that that's going to happen. But you know, me not a religious person. I mean, I work with a belief, you know. It said it done up now already. So you see it said it happen. So why you ignore it? Say it happen. It's like a man a drive a car like him's a madman. And in a film thinking in myself, well, right now, him can't crash, you know, because he knows him can't crash. And most man a drive car, especially taxi man them. And them man that we are driving the coast of them. Most of them feel said nothing now happen to them and all the madness of them and take pan the road. Them not nothing now happen to them. And then you hear so boom. One guy over a precipice, how much people dead, this, that, that, and all them something there. Man crash and kill man and all them something there. So everybody have to say the thing now that happened to them. And you have to do the things to make it happen to you, you know. The problem is that you know, you know, try not to do the things that make it do happen. You actually have to do the things to make it happen. But you feel say it now happen to you. It's when you go a doctor now. And the doctor tell you, say, don't do this. You don't do it. It's the weirdest thing. Somebody would up on the radio and I tell you, say, if you do that, that going to happen. Do that, that, that going to happen. And you now listen to what somebody up on the radio say. Or the advert I say. And when you go to the doctor, the doctor tell you the same thing. And right away, you hear what the doctor say. But and when you go to the doctor, the doctor tell you the same thing. And right away, you hear what the doctor say. But guess what? You have to find a big money for the doctor where you never did have in the first place. How, we can, how can we get the people them to listen? That them had, how, how can we get them to know? Say, look here. You know, destroy yourself and in turn destroy others. Because if you don't love yourself, you're not going to love others. You have to see yourself in others. And if you don't see yourself in others, then others is just others. It's me and you, you work with not I and I. And I and I is a relationship between the one and the one. So when a man say, yeah, you see you, yeah, because you is different from I. So if you do him a read, say, love your neighbor as yourself. You must say, boy, I love myself, you know, but I don't like you. <laughs> I say, all right. See the problem, you know. I love myself, but I don't like you. That's why you all the, the, the artists them can come in here so, and I say all sorts of things against one another. And still I say, yeah, but I love him still, you know. <laughs> and that them end up and say, you know, all of them, if you do this, you know. Them say the worst thing against one another, you know. All of them there. Monk say Fred. The nastiest thing, them say men say one another. But then when them, them say, yeah, but me love him still, you know. <laughs> Nobody can tell me, you say, this food thing here is not one of the biggest problems. As a matter of fact, me feel say the, 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 the food problem worse than the music. Wherever I'll put it that way, they say the food problem worse than the music. Trust me, me believe that with all my heart. This is the cutting edge on RFM. Food is something very existential. And it's something very fundamental to human beings. And so people, even if they don't understand the intricacies and complications, say, of genetic engineering, they get naturally suspicious when they suspect that their food is chemically contaminated or genetically modified. And the secrecy of the corporations heightens that suspicion.
farmers around the world are in trouble. Why are they in trouble? They're in trouble because there's too much food. It's too much, and it suppresses prices. So those farmers are highly susceptible to a crop, a seed, a product that will slightly reduce their costs. Even if the long-term effect is detrimental to their soil, to themselves, even to the family. And you see it in India, you see it in America, you see it in Canada, you see it in Argentina. Five or so agrochemical corporations control about 85% of the food. And what they want to do in their own words is gain control over the entire food chain, from the seeds to the table. Corporations are putting a gene from another species into germplasm to create characteristics or traits which are more desirable to whom? Well, in most cases, these traits are desirable to agribusiness. That is to say, companies who are mass producers of corn and soybeans. Generally, mass producers...